Hello guys, good evening. Hello, hello. Wow, so I can listen to some banda music somewhere. Good evening. All right, so thank you guys. Uh, well, I can listen to the microphone off. Escucha la música. Alguien tiene música por ahí, so I can listen to the music. All right, so uh, sorry, guys. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. The reason, guys, we're doing the the class at this time is because you know, uh, Zoom. It has a lot of problems right now. Estamos teniendo muchos problemas con Zoom. And we're trying to fix them as quick as possible, tan rápido como sea posible. But we're still having some problems. Uh, I know that some of your some of your classmates were saying that they were uh, were having some issues trying to get in into the session, and I understand that. So we're gonna try to. Uh, to help you as much as we can and try to verify what's going on, okay? So I see more people connecting to the class. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome to another class. So, um, how was your weekend, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? How was, how was it? Was it good? Busy, ocupados, you relax? Bored. Bored, why bored? Did you do so many things? I well, don't know. Done. Okay, I understand. <laughs> but anyway, it's like we have to do what we have to do, right? So sorry that it was a boring weekend for you. So I see more people connecting, guys. So once again, what we're going to do before we start a class, you know that I always ask you questions about the previous class. So what do you guys remember about the last class? What was the last class about? Who can tell me? Who can tell me what was the last class about? Um, the last class, mm -hmm. adjective. Adjective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, preposition for remember. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay, good. All right, thank you, Jacqueline. Now, we I told you that you had que ustedes tenían que buscar the meaning, right? The meaning of the adjectives. Don't you remember that? Si espero que se hayan acordado de eso. Why? Because we are going to have a practice for today. And the practice involves the adjectives. So I need everyone to be ready with a pen, pencil, and paper. If you are ready, say I'm ready. So I will know that you're ready. Ready, everyone is ready? Okay, I'm ready. Ready, good. Thanks, Oscar. Ready. Ready, good. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, Lupe, you're having bad signal. Okay, I understand. No problem. The other one, the other one's ready. Good evening, ready. Good evening, ready. Okay, good. So I'm gonna take your silence. Tomar su silencio como I'm ready, como estoy listo. Okay. All right. So we're gonna start, guys. And remember, the practice is going to be about adjectives. So. Espero que los hayan estudiado because ya va a constar de dos cosas. First, the first part is going to be that you will write que ustedes van a escribir 10 adjectives, 10 adjetivos. Los primeros cinco, I will say it in, uh, in Spanish, no, I mean in English. En inglés, y usted me los pone a la par en español. Okay. Then, I will say it in Spanish. Luego yo lo digo en español. Usted lo escribe en inglés. Do we understand? Okay, teacher. 
Okay, so I, I hope, espero que todos hayan entendido de eso. Yes. Okay, so I hope it was clear. All right, so we start, empezamos. So this part is going to be, esta parte va a ser from English to Spanish, de inglés a español, okay? So we start, pay attention. We say, let's see, grumpy, grumpy. What's grumpy? Grumpy. I will ask you for your honesty. Les voy a pedir que sean honestos. Si se la sabe, se la sabe. Si no se la sabe, no esté yendo a verificar en su cuaderno, ¿ok? Try to be honest. Traten de ser honestos. All right, number two. Número dos. We have... Thoughtless, 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 thoughtless. Okay. Now we're going to move on to number three. Number three is going to be delightful, 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 delightful. Now, we're gonna move on to number four. We go with ambitious, 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 ambitious. Number five, we go with Tiny, 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 tiny. Okay. Now, we go to part number two. Nos vamos a la parte número dos. In this part, I will say it in Spanish and you will write it in English. Okay, now let's move on. Let's start. Celoso, celoso, o celosa, right? So either or, celoso o celosa. Que en esta clase eso no existe, vea, los celos. I hope so, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. So now, number two, numero dos. We go with gigante, gigante, gigante. Gigante. Now, we're going to move on to number three. Glamuroso o glamurosa. Glamuroso o glamurosa. Glamuroso o glamurosa. Now, number four, número cuatro, uno regalado. Enojado. Enojado o enojada. Ese tampoco va en esta clase. Aquí pura gente feliz, right? Of course, teacher. 
that's <laughs> okay. I hope so. All right, so we're gonna go with the last one in number five, numero cinco. We go with amable. 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 And we finish with that, guys. So that's gonna be that part. So please, you know what to do. Ya sabe que hacer. Take a photo and you send it through the WhatsApp group. We are almost 16 people, including me, incluyéndome. So I'm expecting to receive 15. Estoy esperando recibir 15 eh, photographies or pictures. Okay, I, I already received uh, Marielos. Thank you very much. I already received, uh, who's this? Jonathan, Jonathan Castillo. Okay. I already received Oscar. I received already Jacqueline. I receive Adelia. Who else? Okay, now Alexander Polanco. Now I receive uh, Guadalupe, I guess that's you. Yes, Guadalupe. I also receive, well, just Alexander. Okay, Elizabeth. Okay, I already see that. Carlos. Okay, good. I'm still missing Edwin. I'm still missing Xiomara. I'm still missing Benjamin. Still missing Katie. Still missing Giselle. And Carlos. No, Carlos Cepeda. Okay, no, that's yours. Okay. So Benjamin, you there? Are you there, sir? Carlos Rodriguez, okay, I got yours. Benjamin, okay, I got yours. All right, cool. So now let me ask you, Marielos, how was the practice for you? How, what can you tell me? Was it easy for you? Was it difficult? How did you feel with this practice? Was it difficult for you to understand some things? Um, que si me resultó eh, con dificultad yes. responderlas. Yeah, was it difficult? Um, quizás. Eh, lo que estoy haciendo es sacando como la pronunciación uh -huh. eh, para no, o sea, para eh, irme familiarizando con las palabras. Ok, good. Pero eh, si me dijiste que hay unas que tienen eh, similitud entre ambas. Like which one? ¿Como cuál? Eh, por ejemplo, Silus, eh, creo que se pronuncia así. Silus, con... yes. Con Silus, que dice lo mismo. Silus, Jealous. Jealous, ajá. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces por eso es que eh, trato de poner la manera como se pronuncia para irme familiarizando. Good. Eh, por ejemplo, está Plum, eh, mm -hmm. que es gordo. Yes. Pero también está Stocky, que mm -hmm. eh, también es gordo, pero también dice rechoncho. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, por ahí ah, también Shobby. Shobby. Mm -hmm. Sí, entonces hay varias que son como sinónimos. 
Yeah, those are synonyms. Hay varios synonyms with the difference that, con la diferencia que Chavi, Chavi va a ser uno que se va a salvar porque lo vamos a utilizar para referirnos a alguien de, no, de una manera no despectiva. For example, si yo en lugar de decirle a alguien gordo, yo le digo, ah, te ves gordito. So, en inglés, ah. vamos a utilizar el adjetivo chubby. That's the one that we're going to use. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Y Let's en see. las otras es más despectivo. Yeah, the others, las demás es, eh, es como eh, despectivo. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. So let's see, Jacqueline. How was the practice for you, Jacqueline? Um, uh, for me, it's difficult because I don't remember a uh, pra practice y aprendérmelos. Okay. okay. Yes, sí, I understand. Son, solo los traduje. Uh -huh. Okay. Todos it's okay. It's okay. All right. Pero no necesito para poderlos aprender. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Oscar, do you have a question or something? Yes, yeah, sir. Well, one, mm -hmm. one question. Uh, what is the difference uh, the word, for example, Silius with Chilius? Zilius and Gilius, I don't understand. Is the same Marielos were saying, like Zilius and Gilius? Is that the same one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, there's there's that one. Esa palabra únicamente lo que cambia es eh, la diferencia entre Estados Unidos, America, and Inglaterra. That's pretty much the only difference that we have. Why? Because algunas palabras que se utilizan en América, en Inglaterra se dicen de manera diferente. Even changes, cambian unas letras para the end, al final vienen siendo sinónimos. So Jacqueline. Yes, eh, yo busqué el adjetivo funny. Uh -huh. y U N Y que eh, significaba escuchinizado, pero yo creo que no es eso. Oh, paniki. No, 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 paniki, you mean? Pani. P U N Y. P U N Y. Let me just check because I don't remember that. They, oh, you mean teeny, teeny and tiny. No. no, Tini, we use it. Lo, no tini lo utilizamos en inglés para referirnos a un adolescente cuando le llamamos a una persona, vos sos bien puro bichito, like in Spanish, mm -hmm. en español. You're so Tini. Es una persona eh, que se comporta de una manera bastante. How do we say that in Spanish? It would be like. Uh, comporta de una manera le decimos en español inmadura. Inmadura. inmadura exactly yes so say teeny and tiny tiny es pequeñito oh that's a little tiny pequeñito eh, okay. teacher, pero no sé si la compañera se refiere a la palabra p u n y oh Uni, no sé cómo se pronuncia Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes, sí, gracias. Uh, all right. So I thought, just escuché it the, like teeny, something like that. But no, it's like, so that one. What did you say you found? ¿Cómo dijiste que le encontraste? Como es cuchimizado. Somewhat. Somewhat. What did you find? Sí, lo mismo. A mí me salía lo mismo es cuchimizado o flaco. In English, when we say punny, we're talking about alguien delgado. En este caso, Ajá. flaco. ¿Sí? Ese es el adjetivo que vamos a utilizar 
única, estos adjetivos, algunos de ellos no son muy comunes. Algunos de ellos no son muy comunes. Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta de esos adjetivos, que hable ahora o que calle para siempre, ¿verdad? Questions so far? So far, so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm question. What's if you say uh, if you say pony and skinny is the same word. The same thing. Son the same. synonymous. The same thing. Mm -hmm. The same okay. thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Thank la you. diferencia es que las dos son eh, skinny and pony. Pony es un poquito más. Eh, oh my God! How do we say that in Spanish? Eh, para hacer sentir mal a despectivo ah, exactly, yeah. o pesado, pesado, pesado yes. se podría decir aquí sí, es más despectivo en cambio si tú dices skinny siempre sigue siendo un poco despectivo pero no al nivel de pony porque ah, no sé okay. si han, si han okay. escuchado que ten, existen los skinny jeans que son los eh, pantalones que son eh, de abajo eh, bastante pegaditos, que son los skinny jeans. Uh -huh. Ok, thanks. All right, so is there any other question? Shapely, sí, Giselle. Shapely es proporcionado, quiere decir una persona que su cuerpo es. Literalmente a proporción, ¿sí? Proporcionado, shapely o en forma. You're so shapely. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So if there's no any other question, guys, uh, what, I, uh, what I would like you to do is that, you know, to practice a little bit those things. I know it's going to be difficult. Sé que puede ser difícil. Some of you work. Algunos de ustedes trabajan, algunos probablemente todavía están en el trabajo. I know, I understand that that's difficult. But remember, if, is this, if it is difficult, it's worth it. Si es difícil es porque vale la pena. Okay? I know that probably in the future, probablemente en el futuro, me los encuentra. I don't know. El Salvador es pequeño. So, and if I see you, you know, where I want you to see. Quiero ver que ya estén hablando un poquito el idioma. So, that will be perfect. So, nunca se den por vencido, chicos. Al igual que ustedes, en algún momento de mi vida, yo también fui un alumno. So, it was not easy for me. No fue tan fácil también para mí. And, uh, Probablemente hay veces se nos olvidan una, algunas cositas del español. Eso va a ser normal también. Because, you know, cuando tiene mucho vocabulario en la cabeza, some things you forget. Se nos olvida. All of a sudden. So, we're going to go with today's class, guys. La clase del día de ahora va a ser acerca de vocabulary. Today we have vocabulary about clothes. Vocabulario de ropa. So, today we're going to learn how to say some things different things and different situations that we're going to have. So just let me go ahead and share the screen. Can you guys see the screen? Si pueden ver la, the screen, can you? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Oh, Benjamin, you're finally yes. there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right, so we're going to start, and as you can see, we're going to start with basic clothes. Vamos a empezar con eh, ropa, eh, que es like the basic things. For men's clothes, ropa de hombre. Here, we're going to start, and I need you guys to pay attention in some pronunciations, because some of them are so similar to another's. Algunas de ellas son similares a otras in English, so we got to pay attention to that. For example, this one. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado la palabra suite? Cuando van a algún hotel o si alguna vez han ido a algún hotel, es como la suite o quiero la suite. So, se escribe yes. de la misma manera, but there's a 
sin pronunciation. Tenemos una diferencia en pronunciación. So, para diferenciar de una de hotel con un la suite, of course, sería suite. La suite es la del hotel. So this one is suit. Suit or suits in plural. Suit, singular. Suits, plural. Now, shirt, shirts. Tie, ties. Now, for women's clothes. Women's clothes, we have dress, uno. Dresses, más de uno. Blues, blueses. Skirt, skirts. Tank top, tank tops. Now, let's see, Benjamin. I would like to listen to you, Benjamin. Let's go. Suit. Mm -hmm. Suits. Good. Uh, sure. Shirt? Shirts. No. no, you were saying lo okay. estabas diciendo bien al inicio. Shirt. Okay, shirt, mm -hmm. shirts. Good. Okay. Uh okay. Tie, ties. Good. Okay. Uh dress, dresses. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh bl blow, blows. blues, blows or blouses. Mm -hmm. Blues, blouses. Mm -hmm. Uh is it's skirt, skirt. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, okay, and the last, it, it tuck tops, tuck top. top no, tops. that's I don't know. Tank, <laughs> I don't know. Tank okay. top. Tank top tops. Okay. okay, tank top, tank tops. And this one, I don't know. A shirt is uh -huh. skirt. I don't know. It's skirt, but this it's skirt, it's skirt. Okay, the Re skirt. Skirts. Remember no. that cuando tenemos una palabra like that, no decimos esa letra E que tenemos con okay. la tendencia a decirlo. Solo hacemos el sonido de la S. Skirt. Skirt. Okay. Skirt. 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 Good. Okay. Thank you Thank so you. much, Benjamin. Okay. Now, I would like to listen to, vamos a escuchar a Carlos Rodríguez. Carlos. Okay, I'm here. Uh, ahead, suit, mm -hmm. suit. Mm -hmm. Shirt, shirts. Good. Tie, ties. Mm -hmm. Dress, dresses. Excellent. There is blues. Mm -hmm. Blues. Blues. Blueses. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Skirt. Skirts. Good. Tank top. Tank tops. Excellent. And we finish this part. Well, that's going to be the first part. Of course, we have more vocabulary here. And we're going to go, in this case, with unisex. A las tan famosas unisex, right? So we have coat, coats, jacket, Jackets, t-shirt, t-shirts, trouser, trousers, jean, jeans, short, shorts, jumper, jumpers, o también podemos decir pullover, pullovers, cardigan, cardigans, sweatshirt, or sweatshirts. Si tiene gorro, le llamamos with a hood. Le llamamos hoodie, hoodies. If it doesn't have, si no tiene un gorro, solo es sweatshirt or sweater, which is the same thing. Now, let's see. We have glove, gloves. Maiden, maidens. Now, Edwin Alexander, let's read. Ayúdame a leer las primeras dos líneas horizontal, please. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Coat, coats, mm -hmm. jacket, jackets. Good. Shirt, 
shirt. No, this is t-shirt, t-shirt. T-shirt. Correct. Mm -hmm. Sorry. T-shirt, mm -hmm. t-shirts. Good. Toasters. True, sir. Two shirts. Two shirts. Jeans. Jeans. Short. Shorts. Okay. Stop it there. Thank you very much. Carlos Giovanni. Oh, no. You already participated, right? What's another? Jumper. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Jumper. Jumpers. Mm -hmm. Pullover. Mm -hmm. Pullovers. Okay. Cardigan. Cardigans. Okay. Switch. Switcher. Switchers. Switch shirts. Switch shirts. Okay. Uh, hood, hoodie. Hoodies. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This one? Glow. Glows. Mm -hmm. Me Meetings. Myden. 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 Good. Now, is, I guess uh, it's pretty clear, right? Las pequeñas imágenes creo que nos ayudan a saber de qué estamos hablando. Correct? Or do you have any question? Or alguien que tenga alguna pregunta? No? Well, silence is more than a thousand words, so I'm going to move on. So here we have, in this part, we have the baby clothes, and we got, we got the romper suit or suite. ¿Cuál es la posición de esta? Suit. Suit. suit, excellent. Romper suit or romper suits. Nappy or nappies. Or also we can call it diaper. Okay, that's, ese es un término que nosotros hemos, en nuestro eh, idioma, hemos un anglosismo, le llamamos palabras que utilizamos de otro idioma sin... Eh, but like general, let's adopt them. We adopt them. So swimming trunk, swimming trunks, bikini, bikinis. A este de acá, que es el traje de baño, le podemos llamar de tres formas. We can call it swimsuit or swimming costume or bathing costume. So we say swimming suit, swimming suits. Swimming costume, swimming costumes, bathing costume, bathing costumes. Now, this one, night dress, night dresses, or de forma más familiar o un lenguaje de calle, le llaman nighty, nighty nighties. So pajamas, pajama or pajamas. Dressing gown or dressing gowns. Now, volunteer, voluntario. Okay, so the volunteer for today is going to be Natalie. Thanks, Natalie. Good evening. Good evening. Romper sheets. No, it's not sweet. Romper sweet. No, because ahí me estás diciendo la de uh, la habitación de hotel. It's not sweet, it's suit. Romper suit. Romper suit. Mm -hmm. And romper suits. Okay. Mm, nappy. Nappy. Nappy and nappies. Nappies. Swimming trunk. 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 Mm -hmm. Swimming trunk. Mm -hmm. Swimming trunks. Bikini. Bikinis. Good. Swim feet. 
No. Siempre me dices la habitación del hotel es swim suit. Swim suit. Uh -huh. Swim suit. Uh -huh. Swimming costumes. Costume. Costumes. And swimming costumes. Bathing cost costumes. No, it's bathing con teta. Bathing costume. Bathing costumes. Mm -hmm. mm. Nighty dress. Night dress. Night dress and night dresses. Okay. Nighties. Okay. Pijama. Pajamas. Pajama. Mm -hmm. Dressing. Dressing gowns. Dressing gown. Excellent. Someone else. Alguien más. Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Go ahead, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Are you there? I don't know if you're speaking, but I cannot listen to you. You have your yeah, Yes, but I have a problem with that. Um, romper suits. Mm -hmm. uh, ne nappy. Nappy. Nappies. Okay. Swimming trunks. Okay. Bikini. Bikini. Okay. Twin suits. Okay. Swimming costume. Okay. Bathing costume. 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 Sorry. Night dress. Mm -hmm. Night dresses. Mm -hmm. Nighty. Mm -hmm. Nighties. Okay. Pijama. Pijamas. Pijamas. Pijama. Mm -hmm. Dressing. Well, Gown. Sorry? Gown. Gown. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess uh, once again, the, all the small images that we have help us to have an idea of the type of clothes we're talking about. So uh, we're gonna move on to the next part. And here we have the accessories. Accessories, accessorios. For example, belt. Cincho belt, belts. Handbag, handbags. Bolsa de man. Headscarf, headscarves. Estas son a las que les llamamos en El Salvador, vinchas. Headscarf, headscarves, scarf para singular and scarves for plural. Scarf, scarves, glasses, sunglasses, watch, watches, glove, gloves, hat, hats. Hunger, hungers. That's part of the accessories. Eso es parte de los accesorios. Now, we go with the jewelry. Jewelry. Necesito que todos me pronuncien la palabra joyería. Esta es una de las palabras que más cuesta eh, obtener la correcta pronunciación de ella, puesto que En español no estamos acostumbrados a enrollar tanto la lengua y acá es necesario enrollar. So listen to the pronunciation. Jewelry. 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 It's kind of difficult. Es un poquito difícil al inicio. So let's see. Vamos a ver cómo nos sale. We're going to start. Vamos a empezar con Edwin Alexander. Let's see. Jewelry. It was there. It was it was a good try. Sandra. Still very good. Okay, still there. Still Natalia. Very. Natalie. Jewelry. It was yeah. there. Okay, let's see Jacqueline. 
generally. Aquí se nos va a trabar la lengua a todos. That's normal. That's okay. Now, Marielos, let's see. Jorly. Uh, close, close, very close. Guadalupe, let's go with you. Jorly. It was good, good try. Oscar. Jewelry. Okay, Giselle. Jewelry. Mm. Katie. Katie. Jewelry. That's pretty close. Let's see, Carlos. Carlos Rodriguez. Okay. Jewelry. That was good, Carlos. Say it again. Jewelry. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Okay. Yeah, let's go okay. with you, Adelia. Jewelry. It was it was close. Thank you so much, Xiomara. Jewelry. Pretty close. Pretty close. Elizabeth. Jewelry. It was good. Say it again. Jewelry. Pretty close, like almost, almost there. Carlos Giovanni. Jewelry. Say it again. Jewelry. Okay, we're still, we still have to work on that. Jonathan Alberto. Jewelry. That was good. Say it again. Jewelry. Good. Yes, that was good. Now let's see. Benjamin. Okay. Uh, Jewelry. Say it again. Oh, okay. Jewelry. Jewelry. Good. Yeah, that was good. So, guys, para mañana, estas palabras se las voy a dejar a todos. Sí. Para mañana se las voy a preguntar. Es la primera palabra que les voy a preguntar. Remember, jewelry. Jewelry. Es de enrollar bastante la lengua. Sí, jewelry. Jewelry. So we, we're going to try that for tomorrow, okay? So, <laughs> I know that this is a difficult word. And um, uh, believe me, we're going to try to do our best. Sí, eh, para que empecemos chicos a desarrollar esa, esa lengua, va a haber un día de esta semana en que les voy a dejar un trabalenguas, uno pequeño, ok, uno pequeñito, solo para que empecemos a eh, desarrollar esa lengua que está algo dormidita, ¿verdad? que en Spanish, en español hay veces no, ni movemos mucho, porque Spanish es like I mean, we do whatever we want. Hacemos lo que sea because we speak the language. But we're going to try to do our best. See? ¿sí? Uno pequeñito. So be ready. Hay que estar listos para empezar a desarrollar esa lengua. So we go with the jewelry. Empezamos con la joyería. And we have bracelet. Bracelet or bracelets. And we have the necklace. A necklace is like uh, un collar or, or, you know, like something like that. Un collar, necklace or necklaces. So, let's see, Marielos. I want to listen to you, Marielos. And we start with la parte de accessories. Okay, belt. Belt. Good. Handbag. Handbag. Okay. Heel scarf. No, this is head. Heel scarf. Head. Head scarf. Heel. Heel scarf. Heel scarf. Okay. A scarf. La, scarf. La, la E que me estás diciendo al inicio. No, recuérdate, es el sonidito de la S. Scarf. Uh, scarf. Okay, I know it's difficult. Sí no que va a ser trao, I know. It's okay. Está bien. It's okay. We're no. Estamos aprendiendo. So once again. 
Okay. Um, start. Ok, hay que prestar atención. Lo hacemos involuntariamente, Marielos. Sea, eso es normal. Lo hacemos involuntariamente de decir scarf al inicio, pero solo es el sonidito de la S. Scarf. Scarf. Good, ok. Scarves. Ok. Glasses. Ok. Sunglasses. Ok. Watch. Okay. Watches. Mm -hmm. Glove. Mm -hmm. Gloves. Okay. Hat. Mm -hmm. Hat. Um, de esta era. Hunger. Hunger. Hungers. Adelia, now we go with you with the jewelry part. Uh, bracelet. 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 No, you say bracelet. No. Bracelet. Mm -hmm. Bracelets. Mm -hmm. Necklace. Necklace. Necklaces. Necklaces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, song. Kelly nos pregunta qué canciones nos pueden ayudar a soltar la lengua. I mean, that's. That's pretty difficult with songs. Es, es un poco difícil con canciones. Why? Because incluso ni en español hay algunas que no entendemos y las decimos como se nos viene o la tarareamos. So that's, that's not a good idea. Generalmente para poder eh, ir soltando la lengua eh, se utilizan de primero o inicialmente eh, tongue twisters, que son trabalenguas. Tongue twisters, los más pequeños, ¿verdad? Para aprender a que se escuche la diferencia. So, desde ya les digo, el día miércoles vamos a tener, o les voy a dejar el primer tongue twister. ¿okay? Y voy a querer que todos me lo, me lo van a enviar por un audio. So, that's going to be a homework. Without, without you, hair supplies. Oh, okay. So I don't know, Edwin. So you know, probably. Now we're going to move on to another part of vocabulary. Nos vamos a mover a otra parte. And this one. Y estas son las partes de una ropa. Parts of clothes. For example, we have the collar. We have the collar. We call it collar al cuello. The collar. We have the pocket. La bolsa. Pocket. The cuff. El cuff es la, esta parte de la manga. Cuando tienen las long sleeve, cuando son camisas manga larga, long sleeve, they have a cuff. Then we have the seam. Seam es la costura. Seam, costura. And button, el botón, button. Now that's part, esa es la parte de una shirt, de una camisa. So now, what happens with the pants? ¿Qué pasa con los pantalones? For example, fly. Le ya, podemos llamar fly a esta parte del, a la que le llamamos tiro. El tiro. Fly. Then the pocket. Las bolsas. The pocket. Pocket on the right and pocket on the left. La bolsa de la izquierda y de la derecha. The waistband. Es la parte del cinturón o la cintura. Waistband. And the legs. Of course, las piernas. Legs. And una vez más, sim, que es costura. Now, Jacqueline, let me listen to you for the part of the shirt, please. Okay. okay. Este, pocket. Mm -hmm. Cuff. Cuff, okay. Button. Button. Mm -hmm. Seam. Seam. Collar. 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 Okay, good. Now, let me listen to you. Vamos a escuchar a, let's see, uh, Carlos Giovanni. Let's listen to you, Carlos Giovanni, with the parts of the pan. Start Fly. here. What? 
waistband. Okay. Leg, legs. Sing. Okay. Pocket. Okay. Fly. Good. Is there any questions so far, guys? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Or are we clear? Estamos claros hasta el momento. Profe, eh, zipper. Oh, that was a zip. Zip or zipper. Porque esa es una, o esa es otra palabra an, eh, anglosajona o una palabra del anglosismo que nosotros hemos agarrado de Estados Unidos. Por ejemplo, utilizamos zip que es cerrar o zipper es el zipper, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ah, ok, el cierre del pantalón. El cierre, que deberíamos de llamarle cierre, pero hemos adoptado la palabra en inglés y le decimos zipper. Aunque nosotros le decimos zipper, vea, zipper, but the pronunciation in English is zipper, con Z, pero la Z, el sonido, zipper, vibrada, zipper. Good. So if there's no any other question, we're going to move on and we're going to go with the last part. En esta parte vamos a ver algunas diferencias entre el inglés británico y el inglés de Estados Unidos. Algunas de estas ya las vimos. For example, belt, blues, boots, las botas, boots, a cap, es una gorra, coat, dress, gloves, hat, hoodie, jacket, jeans. So this one, los overalls, los overoles que le llamamos nosotros in English in United States, en Estados Unidos, se llaman overalls. Y en uh, Inglaterra son dungarees. So overalls and dungarees. Son la misma cosa, but in because they have different accent so they call it in a very different way so overalls dungarees now en Estados Unidos la forma de deletrear pijama es como que la solo cambia una letra for example but the pronunciation is still the same la pronunciación siempre va a ser la misma so we're going to say pajama pajama so, solo el spelling is going to change. Pajama, pajama. Then, panty es como a lo que en español le llamamos como calzón le podríamos llamar. And sneaker. And uh, like in, in Europe, in Europa, o in Inglaterra specifically, le llaman sneaker. Sí, panty, sneakers. En Estados Unidos le llamamos pantalón, le decimos pants, pero en England ellos le llaman trousers. So, pants, trousers. Then, raincoat, scarf, shirt, shoes, shorts, skirt, socks, suit, sweater, in United States, le llamamos sweater. O oh, de qué otra forma lo vimos anteriormente? Jumper. What? Jumper. Jumper. Hmm. Can we say jumper? It's pretty similar, jumper, but it's not a jumper. No, sweatshirt. We call it sweatshirt or sweater. La palabra más utilizada es sweater. Sí, sweatshirt también se puede decir. Esa únicamente se utiliza o se les dice para que ustedes la conozcan. But generally, generalmente los americanos van a utilizar sweater. Eh, it's the most common. Es la más común. But in England, in Inglaterra, ellos le llaman jumper. Jumper. And here we have sweatshirt, que is pretty much the same thing. And the sweatpants, the swimming trunks that we already saw, the swimsuit, the tie, the
the t-shirt and the underpants. Now, let's see, Guadalupe, I need you to help me, Guadalupe, with the first line, con la primera línea, horizontal, please. Belt, blouse, mm -hmm. boot, cup, cup, dress. Coat, this one is coat. Coat. Okay, uh -huh. Mariela, so let's go with line number two. Gloves, hat, hoodie, mm -hmm. jacket, jeans, overalls, and dungarees. Dungarees, okay, good. Now we're gonna move on with Adelia, line number three. Pijamas. Pajama. Pajam pijamas. Pajamas. Yeah. Panties, sneakers, mm -hmm. pants, trousers, trousers, raincoat, trousers, trousers, raincoat, a scarf, okay, shirt. Good, Oscar. Line number four. Okay. Shoes, shorts, skirt, socks, suit, okay. sweater, and jumper. Okay, uh, this one, guys, eh, we got to be a little bit careful here. Tenemos que ser un poquito cuidadosos con la pronunciación de calcetines. Why? En inglés hay una pronunciación de una palabra bastante sexual que y se escribe casi que similar a esto. Entonces, para evitarnos pasar alguna vergüenza una persona en Estados Unidos o alguien que hable el idioma, this one we say with O, con la una O fuerte, socks, socks, socks. ¿Ok? Porque si hacemos un sonidito que es sock, que es casi similar, esta palabra es bastante vulgar y es en un sentido muy sexual. ¿Sí? So, we say here una O bastante fuerte, sock. Or socks, socks. ¿Ok? Please. Hay que ser bastante cuidadosos en esa palabra, más que todo. So, um, Edwin, Alexander, help me with the last line, please. Edwin. Sweet shirt. Mm -hmm. Sweet pants. Mm -hmm. Screaming. Sorry, es punto, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, bueno, ok. Swim trunks. Mm -hmm. Swim suit. Ok. Tie. Mm -hmm. Shirt. T-shirt. T-shirt. Underpants. Underpants. Now, do you guys have any questions so far? Alguien que tenga alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Something? No? No. Okay. So if there's a question, guys, I will stop sharing. And I would like to know, me gustaría saber si alguien de ustedes ya terminó la plataforma. Does any one of you already finish the platform? No? Yes. You finished it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number three. Okay, good. So Benjamin says that she already finished. He already finished this too. So, les quería preguntar, Oscar and Benjamin, ¿ya, ¿ya les apareció la opción de reclamar certificado? Es correcto, este día. Okay, good. What, what about you, Benjamin? Yes, okay. Necesito, Oscar and Benjamin, que verifiquen que sus nombres estén correctamente escritos y que todo esté bien. 
Caso contrario, les voy a pedir que me envíen eh, cualquier, eh, cualquier cosa que no les aparezca correcto. Me lo, puede, me lo hacen saber para yo comunicarme con administración. Y esto va para todos. Cuando vayan terminando la plataforma, les va a habilitar la opción de reclamar certificado. Cuando ustedes tengan la opción habilitada, por favor, reclaman certificado y verifican que todo esté en orden, su nombre o cualquier situación para que eh, no vayan a tener problema al momento de validar. ¿Ok? So, uh, okay, teacher. All right. So, is there any question? ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta before we go? No? So, if there's no question, guys, remember that this week we have to continue working on The platform is section number four. Los que todavía no lo han terminado para esta semana, section number four. Eh, los que van con su tiempo, ¿verdad? So that's fine. So section number four, that they are going to check it on Friday. Vamos a tener calibración el viernes. Y los que ya la terminaron, hagan caso omiso a esto. ¿Ok? So please, Oscar and Benjamin, you check that. Saber si todo está bien el día de mañana. Yo les voy a preguntar al iniciar la clase. ¿Ok? So if there's no any other question, guys, that's going to be for okay. today. Thank you very much for attending to the class and have a good night. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.